Hello friends! Well, this video will be dedicated to the device, the review of which I did not find on YouTube so far. However, it's really a very useful one. Well, this is One X 3L Cooler Fan Speed Regulator of GU Company, which also produces such devices as capacity checkers. The device operates on 12 volts and is designed for the corresponding cooler fans. Its maximum current output amounts to 0.8 amps. Here we have the input wires, here is a thermal sensor. As to the fan, here we have minus, plus and sensor. But you can also use any 12 volt cooling fan without the third sensor pin. All the settings of the device can be adjusted only with the help of this tiny button. Besides this, the device can work even without this thermal sensor. And the rotation speed also can be adjusted with the help of this button. Firstly, let's measure its dimensions and weight. 5 cm, approximately 2 cm, 1 cm, 7 grams. Let's turn the device on and check how it works. Here we have the notebook battery. Let's increase the temperature. To avoid the misunderstanding in connection with the rotation speed and the video frame rate, let's use this car bulb instead of the cooler fan. In order to increase the initial speed, we should press the button once. In order to decrease it, twice. So the bulb is almost off. Let's increase the power. In order to save the changes, we should wait within 20 seconds. and the light emitting diode will stop blinking. Let's check it. And the changes were saved. Let's check the device with the help of the lighter. So the temperature decreases and the device decreases the power output. And now about the detailed adjustment of the device. There are some articles on the internet in connection with this device, but almost no one explains how to use this column and how to switch the adjustment to the second column and then to the third one. So let's explain it. But before we explain it, let's detach the thermal sensor. Let's increase the power output. Or decrease it. So the device really can operate without the thermal sensor. There are some situations when you need the maximum speed of the device or maybe the minimum speed and in case of absence of the thermal sensor or its damage, you can adjust the power output without any problem. Now let's attach it again. Let's check it. It's OK. And let's speak about this table. The general operation means that the device is working and no one changes the settings. As to the second line, let's decrease the power output. So here we have two light emitting diodes and it means that we have reached the minimum. Let's wait. It 
So the minimum is set. We can turn the device off and on. And the minimum is reached and saved. As for the maximum, So here we have the maximum. As to these two lines, there is no need to adjust these lines or to achieve these results. Simply if we adjust the temperature and increase it, the third LED is blinking. And in case we decrease the temperature, the first one is blinking. Here we see decreasing and increasing. And we have the fast flashing of the second LED within 20 seconds and the device saves the data in case of no other changes. And now as to the second and the third column. And what do they mean? Well, the second column represents the temperature at which we have the lowest RPM. RPM means rotations per minute. As to the third column, well, this is acceleration width. For example, let's pick over the fourth line. Well, the device will provide the minimum RPM at 45 degrees and in case of temperature increase of 20 degrees, so in case of 45 plus 20, so in case of 65 degrees, we will have the maximum RPM. And now how to adjust it. Long press. Here we have slow blinking and the first LED means that the temperature is set to 30 degrees. How to change it? Increase 35 increase 40 45 50 60 and here we have the maximum. You can also decrease the temperature the same way. Double click. Let it be 45 degrees. Increase. 45 degrees. Let's switch to the third column. Long press. Fast blinking means that we are here. Here we have 5 degrees. Let's adjust it. 10 degrees, 15 degrees, 20 degrees. Long press to save. Let's check it. The power output increased and decreased suddenly because the temperature is relatively high. Now let's decrease the power output. Let's wait within 20 seconds. So now we have the minimum power output and it's saved, yes. Now let's check the device. Once again. It decreases the power output step by step, which is great. And now we have the lowest RPM or power output. Let's adjust the device according to the bottom line. Long press. Save. 
70 degrees, long press. Thirty degrees, forty degrees, fifty degrees, long press save. Let's check the device. No, because the temperature is too low. So the device is almost not sensitive. So the maximum temperature amounts to 120 degrees. Well, that's why the device is almost not sensitive. And besides all the above mentioned, the device has one more function, which is really very interesting. As you know, we have the minimum power output, but the device does not turn the car bulb off. However, there is a possibility to do it. In order to enter this specific menu, we should turn the device off. Then press the button. Then turn the device on and wait. So now the first light emitting diode, which blinks twice, means that the device will not turn the power output off. In case of the second LED, the device will turn the car bulb or cooler fan off in case of 2% decrease of the temperature. And in case of the third light emitting diode, the device will turn the car bulb off in case of 5% temperature decrease. Long press. Save. There is no need to turn the device off and on again. So here we have nothing. Let's increase the temperature. And the car bulb is off. Let's check this function in case of the conditions of the second line. Long press, decrease. We need the second LED. Yes, long press, decrease, 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 decrease. Okay. Save. Now let's wait and see. The car bulb is still on. Once again. Now let's define the speed control method. So the device either changes the voltage or uses pulse width modulation. Let's see it with the help of the oscilloscope. Eleven point six volts, ten, nine, eight, seven, six. Four, four point two, four point zero, four 
zero volts. Once again, So no PWM, it simply decreases the voltage. As to the conclusions, the device is very small, it's lightweight but there is no sense to speak about it, it has really wide temperature range and also in case of the temperature which is lower than the minimum temperature, you can adjust the special setting and turn the cooler fan off. Besides it, the device has no relay and therefore it's absolutely silent. But the main advantage of this device is that it's very flexible. You can also use this device as the temperature regulator, but it will only turn the cooler fan on in case of the highest temperature and turn it off in case of the lowest temperature. But there is no possibility to decrease the power output gradually. Of course you can use two devices and the resistor. So the first device will turn the cooler fan on, but with the resistor in series. And this device subsequently will provide the short circuit of this resistor. And the cooler fan will rotate faster. But in these conditions you can compare the size of this device with these two ones. And take into consideration the price of these two devices. And also the power consumption of these two relays. Not to mention that these two devices are not silent because they have relays. So the advantage of 1x3L is obvious. Hope this video was helpful for you. Thanks for watching. Wish you good luck.